So the components of the six axis arm, we got uh, this gripper here, which I got from eBay. Um, the servos here, um, same thing, some X, X modelers, I got some uh, servos on the cheap. But uh, they're bolted onto these uh, plexiglass bases and then super sticky double sided taped onto the servos. Been sitting there uh, <laughs> for eight years now so it's pretty strong stuff. Each one is like that. This is the uh, their double wrist joint here, and uh, of course the the elbow counterbalance with a spring to help out, and then uh, the shoulder has uh, two servos working together, and then uh, for this part the the roundhouse I got a a bearing box down in here, a shaft comes through at that stationary with the world you can see it there, so the servo is turning itself around it. So that's uh, the arm. Um, all the commands are sent from the microcontroller through just one wire. Um, there's three wires here, power ground and then the serial data coming through to the Scott Edwards serial servo controller. So you can control up to eight servos with this. Um, I got them pretty much all going, used up there. Got one extra. But uh, you come in through here like I am or through a telephone connector but uh, it, it really frees up a huge cable coming out of here um, these wires here is going to my uh, external power source to run just the servos um, I was killing my batteries so I just uh, I got um, 5 volts coming off of this guy right here with a big cap on there smooth it out that's a servo voltage this is just a uh, 5 volts I'm sending the the TTL just a logic on from from this guy here where the controllers inside so really the display is the only thing that uh, uses up any of the battery power in here so it lasts a long long time which is good because this sucker's bolted together and it's a royal pain to get to the battery which is on the bottom there's no room for it but uh, that's kind of the hardware of uh, of the six axis arm